Hi, welcome to Lesson 6, Structural Steel Connection Design. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the types of steel connection and able to design the connection for pure shear. Connections are structural elements used for joining different members of a structural steel framework. They are bolts and weld connection. A bolt is a metal pin with a head formed at one end and shank threaded at the other in order to receive a nut. The bolted joint is among the most common joining methods. The primary components of a bolted joint include the threaded fastener as well as the parts to be joined together. Welded connections are connections whose components are joined together primarily by welds. Welding is the method of locally melting the metals with intensive heating along with a filler metal or without it and allowing cooling them to form a coherent mass, thus creating a joint. There are four ways to classify the connection. First, on the basis of connecting medium, second according to the type of internal forces, third, according to the type of structural elements and finally, according to the type of members joining. Failure modes of bolted connection can be single shear, double shear, bearing on plate and bolt, shear tear out of plate, tension failure of plate or block shear failure. Non-preloaded bolts are perfectly satisfactory for the majority of orthodox connections, as the small amount of slip associated with clearance holes has no practical consequences for the structure. They are assembly by non-pre-stressed or low-strength bolt cheaper and comes from bolt classes 4.6 and 5.8. Where, as, preloaded or pre-stressed bolts are tightened such that a high tension, usually above yield strength, is developed in the bolt switch assembly by pre-stressed or high strength bolt, more expensive and classified in bolt classes 8.8 .8 and 10.9. Non-preloaded bolts or non-pre-stressed bolts as five basic steps for the design of connection. We need to calculate shear strength of bolts, minimum edge distance and spacing requirements to choose the smallest of alpha, B, and K, 1. Then to calculate bearing resistance for shear plane and bolt group before calculate ultimate resistance and plastic resistance of connection. Finally. The design resistance of connection to be the smallest value among calculate ultimate resistance and plastic resistance. These are material properties and data requires for design purposes of non-preloaded bolts or non-pre-stressed bolts. The design of connection for preloaded bolts or pre-stressed bolts only involved four steps where the smallest value among ultimate resistance and slip resistance force to be the design resistance of the connection. These are material properties and data requires for design purposes of preloaded bolts or pre-stressed bolts. Thank you for your attention. You are awesome guys.